The purpose of this video is to show you the construction procedures for a dim bulb tester, which is what this is, and to encourage you to use it whenever, um, you know, whenever testing out old equipment. Now, sometimes you may come across old equipment, uh, you know, maybe you find it in your attic, your basement, you have inherited it, you're at a garage sale or a thrift shop or, or whatever, uh, the first instinct might be to plug it in to see if it works and that may be uh, that may be the last time you ever plug that machine in without extensive repairs. Uh, what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to save the machine um, by, by the, the bulb in here will absorb the energy going into that machine if there is a short in it. And so uh, stay tuned and we will get into construction. If we haven't met yet, my name is David. And in my videos, I try to share my experiences on trying to save a few bucks on home, auto, ATV, boat uh, repairs and maintenance. So if these are some things that you may be interested in, please consider subscribing and hope to see you there. Okay, so the materials that you're gonna need for this are gonna be some sort of a, a cable that you can salvage. Uh, you know, this is just an old computer uh, cable. Uh, didn't need any more, found that out in the, the, the shed. Um, then you're gonna need an electrical outlet a lamp socket, some electrical tape, and some way of uh, some wire connectors to, uh, to, to connect the wires. Uh, the tools that you're going to need, uh, you're going to need some scissors for the electrical tape, uh, some sort of uh, a wire crimper, either you know crimper here or, or, or this tool, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and then maybe a multimeter based on what your, um, your wire composition is here. If you can see the wire to know you know which one is which you may not need uh, this but we're going to go ahead and include that just in case okay so the basic premise of this little tool is we are going to interrupt the hot we're going to create a plug that interrupts the hot with a bulb uh, usually a 60 watt bulb that will um, if we have some sort of a problem um, you know back here in the radio it's going to accept or, or take any or leech off any additional um, uh, power and it'll just light the bulb up. If everything in the radio is operating as it should be, the, the bulb should be dim. So what we're going to do is just construct a, uh, a cord that, um, you know, our, we create a new, uh, create a new outlet here that, um, is, that, that goes to a plug, but the plug is bypassed here uh, by a bulb. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do here is take the plug and just go ahead and cut that off here. Um, I think I'll use a little box cutter here to just kind of edge around this. Get that jacket off right there is all we're trying to do. Okay, easy enough here. So we have three wires exposed. We have a, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. So we're not gonna need to use the uh, multimeter here. We're just gonna be able to, uh, to know based on the color coding of the wire. Kinda clean that up a little bit there. All right. Okay, so we wanna connect we want to connect in our box here, so let's go ahead and just do that. Alright, All right, so the, um, the small side here is your hot. And let's use let's use our screwdriver here to open that side up. And 
take with. Okay, so I pulled these uh, uh, pulled these out just a little bit here, and I'm going to use some needle nose pliers just to kind of create some little hooks in these to make them easier to fit around the screws. So here's our hot. Put it right in there. And we'll do the same for these other two. This thing is getting on my neck. <laughs> okay, so now that we have uh, all three sides connected here, we're just going to run a, uh, a little electrical tape around this. Okay, so now that we have that wrapped, uh, we're going to find a place, maybe a foot down the line, and make us a little cut in here with our box cutter. And another one, maybe just a few inches down. And what we ultimately want to do here is cut out a section of this so that we can dig out the hot wire. There's our first cut. And I'll just kind of draw a line down between those. Don't cut your finger now. One more time. This is going to peel out nicely, or we hope it will. Pull that back. Okay, so now that section's trash, and we have exposed the uh, wires underneath. And you may need some scissors to cut away some of the fluff here. Get that out of the way. And And nothing says that you have to make this thing as crudely as this. You can come up with any, uh, you know, any creative solution that you want to. I've seen people put wooden bases on these. I'm just trying to uh, show how to make this out of a computer cable in a in a simple, quick method. Okay, now so our hot wire is the one that we want access to here. Let's go ahead and cut that one right in the middle. And we'll go ahead and strip off a little piece of that, as well as a little piece of this. And these are what we're going to connect into our. Um, terminals there of our lamp socket. And here's the deal on the lamp socket, it really doesn't matter if you want to go for brass, nickel on either side because it's they're they're both on the hot side. It's it's it does and it's alternating current, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, and so now you can see that we have connected the hot through the lamp socket here. And our next step on this is we're just going to use some electrical tape and wrap around this in the same manner that we have done the plug here. Okay, so now that we have everything nicely uh, wrapped up there, uh, we're good to go. Uh, we will we'll, we'll use a, a light bulb in there, and based on the 
what are the specifications of the material or the, the the equipment that you're that you're plugging in? Uh, you'll want to adjust the light bulb accordingly. So if you have access to uh, maybe a manual or the back of the machine or whatever, that will tell you what what amp or what wattage the uh, the machine draws, and based on that, that's the uh, the size bulb that you should choose. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, we have the Drake R4C receiver that I just picked up from. Uh, uh, gentleman on Facebook Marketplace also bought the matching transmitter, uh, which together is considered the Drake Sea Line Twins. If you're interested in more about those uh, those radios, we are. I'm going to have another video that's going to uh, kind of detail my uh, my look into those uh, more. But that's we're, we're not going to talk about that on, on this one. So if you want to subscribe, and you'll have access to those other ones and, and be able to go go see what we do uh, on down the line with those. Uh, so we have a 74 watt bulb there, uh, odd size, but that's the only thing that I could find close enough to the 60 watts that the Drake receiver uh, uses. So you want to use something that's either the same or just marginally more than, uh, than the receiver is going to draw. So with that, let's go ahead and turn this on. We should see the bulb come on with an inrush of current. And I have it connected there to a um, to a uh, our an external speaker there. So I hear a little bit of a hum there. Let's see if we can just kind of tune around here. Okay. And I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm starting to hear some static, which is good. We don't have a uh, don't have an antenna connected, but you can see that the bulb is dimmed slightly, but it's not bright. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Uh, let's see. No, it's not, you, you can't really tell. That is not as bright as as it really looks like on camera. It's uh, it's really kind of dim. So uh, with that, uh, you know, I'm gonna going to uh, I'm gonna let this play for a second. But I think um, you know it, it makes me feel good at this point that, that it's uh, it's actually um, it's not totally dead. So. I, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like if you got something out of this, and uh, you know, subscribe if you want if you're interested in more content uh, like this. So, uh, hope to see you down the road, and thanks a lot.